Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is episode number four of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series, where I'm going to be basically going over something that's very simple that many people actually do not know exists in Illustrator. Uh, even, even people who have been working at this for a number of years. And this is customized workspaces. Now, basically, all this stuff over to the right is your workspace. You know, after a while, depending on what you do, if you're an illustrator, you know, you do illustrations on a tablet or you do print design, you're going to obviously have different widgets, tool widgets that you're going to be using over others. So me being a print designer, there's a lot of things that I consistently use and there's many things I never use. So I don't want to see those tools on the side because they're just going to get in the way of all the other things I need. So basically, what you can do is we can come up to window and we can come into workspace, right? And right now you're going to see I have a customized workspace called Steven. You're also going to see other ones that are already built into Illustrator, Automation, Essentials, Layout, Painting, Printing and Proofing, Tracing, Typography, and Web. Now, these are, like I said, they're, these are all presets. You can also reset the one that you're currently working on. I'll show you in a second why. Or you can make a new workspace or, your, or obviously manage the ones that you do have. Now, as you can see, I have my one workspace. Now, what we're going to do is we're basically going to move a bunch of things around here. And I'm sure you can kind of predict, you know, the near future of what I'm about to do here. So, you know, say I have my tools all, all over the place. You start moving them around or, you know, sometimes you click on tools and you need to expand them up and down. Um, so we're going to do that. And, and it kind of messes up certain things. Sometimes things get hidden or, or whatnot. So what we're basically going to do in here is we're going to come up to window workspace reset steven all right and boom it goes right back to where i wanted it so all you need to do is you need to set up your workspace to how you like it um you can basically come into window and if there's something that doesn't have a check mark on here it's not uh it's not actually being shown at the moment um it might be over here on the right like for instance actions actions is not in any of my tabs on the right so i'm going to click actions and this box is going to pop up what you're going to do is you're going to click on the top right here, hold it down so you can drag it like, you know, we're used to with many programs. And we're just going to drag in here and you're going to see it, it's already giving me a space. You're going to let go and it snaps right into there. All right. So say that I add actions to this. Now, if I go to window workspace, reset Steven, boom, actions is not going to be there anymore. So what you'd want to do in that case, you'd want to go into workspace, new workspace and name it, you know, test workspace or whatever. All right, I didn't I didn't save that one because I didn't want to have to take it out later. Um, but basically, you can really do this, and you, you know you can put certain things like you can move this down here and reorder things, um, put in certain tabs first as opposed to you know at the end. It's really cool what you can do with this. Uh, and I only discovered this a few years ago where I was like, wow, I was like, you know, I don't have to I don't have to you know because I, I I tend to move things around like I said if. If you scale a widget up, it, it tends to push things away. So you can reset it so easily. Again, I'm going to reset Steven right there. And that's it on resetting workspaces. So let me know in the comments what you tend to like in your workspace, uh, what works for you as a print designer, because that's what I am. Uh, and whatever else, you know, if you if you do other things, you know, let me know what you prefer to have in there. And that's it. Uh, subscribe to this channel, please. And uh, you'll be able to get this uh, series as soon as they come out. And I'll see you all for episode number five. Have a great night. Peace.